Here, you watching the studio for? This is a popcorn rocket experiment. It's just a Arizona drinking tea can with the drinking end of it cut off and a hole drilled into the other end of it so that a firecracker can fit snugly in there, like I have here. So do that. Fill a container with water. Then stick the drinking can in here and light the cracker on fire and it'll shoot into the air like a pop can rocket. So with this experiment you can vary different factors such as the container you have the liquid in, how much liquid and what kind of liquid, the type of container from which you're shooting the, out of. In this case it's an Arizona drinking tea can but you can make it whatever kind of can you you want it to be and whatever kind of material and there's also the factor of what kind of firecracker or what what kind of explosive you have in there so I'm going to be experimenting with d different factors and I'll, I'll change up the experiment and see how it works out well anyway well, I have the water up to f four inches now. Well, all right, well, enough talk. Let's see how this thing works. And one thing you can do once it's in there is you can try to hit it with something like a slingshot. <laughs> I, I had this slingshot with a smoke bomb ready and I, I could have tried to hit it with it but, but with, because I was holding the camera I didn't, didn't get an opportunity. This is take two of the pop can rocket. It's still an Arizona drinking tea can. The difference this time is that it's cornstarch and water mixture rather than just water and it's about two and a half inches high, so let's see how this baby works. This is take three of the pop can rocket. It's this time a regular drinking soda can with two, inch, two inches of water. And let's see how this baby goes. Uh, the explosive blew me away. Oh, no, not too shabby. Oh, here's the damage.